Um, good day or good afternoon. Um, I'm Elizabeth Peterson. Um, I am a brand owner, wine brand owner. Um, I start in the wine industry in, in the year 2000. And I was one of eight directors that started the first black wine label. Um, and unfortunately, then five years down the line, we had to close down because we are black. We don't air, uh, uh, own sand or mortar. And we had to close down, you know, because no banks wanted to help us. Um, we were a risk, we were told. And uh, even the wineries didn't want to assist. We got a loan or it was, we thought it was a grant, but it was a loan um, through National Empowerment Fund. But we were, we were talking about it. And in the year 2009, I then decided that I'm going to sign the contract um, with my son and we're going to start. There was one, one buyer and he took my hand. He was from Checkers. And he took my hand and he said, just don't come out with a black name. Keep it plain and simple. Libby, everybody knows you by Libby. Work around that and come back to me. And six months, months down the line, I was listed with checkers and checkers, shop night checkers. And eight months later, I was then listed with pick and pay. So that was a plus. But it was a challenge to keep my wines on the shelf. Libby's pride is still out there. Well known, um, and 2019, in in November, um, we got the opportunity to go to to China, to the China uh, uh, show wine show in Chicago. No, ah, sorry, um, but to China in Shanghai. Sorry, in Shanghai, and lo and behold. We were there for nearly two weeks. We came back um, after the first week in December. And you know, I came back and I was sick. Sick to my core for two weeks. I could not lift myself. And it was the flu. And we thought it was the, 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 the change of time. And, and, you know, a whole lot of factors that we thought. January, we then heard that the pandemic is now full-blown in China. And you know what? We could just thank God that we came back. And then in March, um, I still had an interview with um, Fanny Karp yeah, at, my play, at my house. And... We, we got the news that the president is going to talk to us on the 26th of March. Um, it was like two days before um, that they were shooting here. And, 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 and they said that, oh gosh, you know, it seems as if we're going into a lockdown. And I said, but oh my word, what about our orders and stuff? I've got it for orders and things. But anyway, we then decided that we will see to our farm workers that they have at least um, X amount to, to just live off whatever we could gather, uh, you know, bread and why, um, the milk and things we, we, we saw that we could give. I mean, each one of us in this field, all our, our brands and, you know, we, we all just got together and then started with this. Uh, we need, we saw people out there. And then I just started the kitchen. I just started cooking out of my pocket, even though there were no sales. I will sacrifice rather 
but I need to help. I drove out, you know, to Darling. There is farmers that doesn't even know what we did because we don't want to talk about it and we don't want to post. So we, we, we go out there and we, government is saying about that 350 rand and when people get there, there is no money. People walk days and days. They, they, they walk uh, 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 through the stations where they must get the money. There's no money. Um, money wasn't delivered. There's a shortage. There's this, there's that. How are they living? They are not living. You know, they cannot live because they don't have food. Yeah, coming back to us as women brand owners, government is not supporting us. They will support the, the farms that has got equity into a black owned brand. Um, they also will supply because the white farmer um, says that he's got a, a black owned brand and his farmers, his, his farm workers has got a trust. He has a trust for the farm workers and then he's got a black owned brand. So we are not doing great. We are suffering big time. Um, 